You're now tuned into another episode of Mellow After Dark. Yes. All right, so anyways, let's get into it. It's Mellow back with my piano melodies. Let's get into it. So I'm not going to be too music theory heavy. We're going to work in a minor scale today. Let's assume that you don't you don't know anything about scales. We're going to go to piano roll on a blank sampler, go to the arrow and then go down to stamp. Minor, natural, aeolian. What you want to do is click that minor aeolian. We're going to click C because C minor is going to be what we're playing in today. So let me zoom out. So, you know, has seven notes in every scale, of course. What we're going to do is press control C, control V. Yeah, hold control and press the down arrow. Drag it all the way to the left to transpose it. And also we're going to paste it again, control V. And then we're going to hold control still and press the up button. Boom. Let's slide it all to the left. So now that we have that, what we're going to do, we're going to drag one of these notes, go all the way out to the ninth pattern hold control and press L that's going to drag all of those out let's erase that last note now when we go here if you don't know scales you now have the whole scale you can see all the notes that right there being that it's blank and it's not gray it's not light gray you don't want to play that note you don't want to play there and remember we selected C so that's the root note I want you to know that even though we're not going to be music theory heavy, I want you to know whatever note you click, whatever mind when you're doing the scale, that's going to be your root note. So this is a C minor scale because we click C when we put down a minor scale. Boom. Step two is a chord progression. Now, the reason chord progressions are important is because you can create a whole mood and dictate a mood just with a chord progression alone. And we're going to play a one. This is one. And then we're going to go to four. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So that is a one, four, five chord progression in minor. We're gonna lay out the chords in a moment. Just follow the steps. So. Boom, you're gonna go two notes up in the scale from whatever note you click. So you see how we did that? Boom, we have a chord. So we're gonna take this note right here. We're gonna go one, two, boom. So that's two notes up from where it was at. And then we're going to go one, two. Same thing here, boom, boom. Now that is a one, four, five chord progression. That is from NBA Young Boy Graffiti. Chord progressions are universal. If you look at the pop songs and things like that, most of them use the same chord progression. The producer to do this was not the first to use the chord progression, won't be the last. Let's push this back. Control L. So now that we got the chords done, let me break down a theory that I have as far as how I do piano. The way that I look at everything as far as when I'm laying all this out is left hand, right hand. The left hand is gonna have simple rhythms or it's just gonna play the chords. So I'm gonna show you some different things. You can have the same chord hit twice in a row. That's one thing you can do. So another thing that I like to do is basically create voicings and things like that. The first thing, you just take the middle note of each one, hold control and press the up arrow. Boom, let's see how that sounds. Now what I'm gonna do is also take these, push them down so that they're really basic. Push everything down. Now everything's cranked up right now, so I'm gonna push those down. Another thing I like to do is create melodies on the left hand, but as far as the melodies, they're more like arpeggios. You don't wanna get too complex 
with the left hand melody. So we're just going to do this. Notice the notes that I clicked are still where the light gray is at. So we have a very simple left hand melody as far as the chords. Let's get to the right hand. So as far as the melody, this is how it works. So this is not a steadfast rule that you have to go by, but I'm going to show you, you know, why it works and why I go by it. With the melody, you want it, you know, a little bit higher. You don't want it this close or anything like that. You don't want it that close. You want it about another octave up. I never started on the root note. That's just me. Now you don't have to do that, but that's just me. What I want to do is resolve on the second go round with the last note in the melody being the root note, which is going to be C. Because again, we are in C minor. That is the root note. What we're going to do as far as making the melody, we're going to click around notes in different rhythms and see what works. There are going to be certain parts where the melody or the chords are breathing, which means there's going to be space. Now you could leave that space alone or you could fill up the melody in there. So you see all this right here, all this area right here. I can fill up melody in that a little bit later once we get to it, but let's go through it right now. The way that I look at the melody while you see me laying this out, like I'm traveling in a direction. The only jump that you really see as far as like, you know, four notes is from this to this. And then you see this jump again right there. You know, it's not a formula to it. I'm just doing what sounds right. But the way that I look at it, it's either going up or it's going down. Usually don't play the same note twice in a row. That's just not what I do with my melodies. I do it rarely. I didn't hit the C note one time. So we got the melody laid out. We're going to copy that, control C, paste it over here. Now what we're gonna do is on this part, when it comes around, we're gonna start varying the notes. Where we're gonna end up is C. It's either gonna be down here or up here. See that? You see that? You see, you see that? Listen to that. Come on, man. So let's listen to the whole. Th Come on, dog. Come on, son. So let's listen to the whole thing. I make sure the last note is C, the root note, so that it revolve or resolves. Now, it's a bunch of songs that don't do that. It's a bunch of songs that don't do that. It's not something you have to do, but it's a tip. It's free game. Use it, it'll help you. So with that being said, we now have the melody. Now, the last step, one of the last steps that I wanna go over is harmony. On the melody end, there are going to be some notes like this G6, the drags, where you can put an extra note with it and create harmony. So let's listen to that. Instead of, it makes it sound flyer. So we got that. And let's do that to a few. You could even do that to these little joints. But again, when you do that, you want to make sure you're at least skipping one note and doing what sounds right. Cause we could do that with this note up here. See, it just sounds right. So now what you want to do for some of these, you could either click none, which is what I'm about to do. Zoom in and to give it that realism, you want to pull this note a little bit back and then slide it a little bit back. We're going to do that with all of those. 
what we're going to do basically a little bit of leveling so we're going to select all of this and we're probably going to move this a little bit lower we do that I'm going to select these we're going to make these sit a little bit lower we're going to have the base notes sitting the lowest so let's select all this I want to let you know a couple more things so the first thing that I want to let you know this is an active melody meaning there are a lot of notes going throughout the whole thing it doesn't leave too much room for other instruments to play notes that aren't the notes that are playing at that time that's how come when you listen to a lot of piano beats you'll hear strings pads flutes things like that that just play along with the chords instead of you know, and you might hear a guitar and things like that, but it's contrast. The second, I'm gonna lay some drums over this real quick. Be right back. This is why I have that whole octave and everything separating the beat. I'm gonna go to pattern. I'm going to go to split by channel because again, I have the whole beat laid out. So when you go in here, you're gonna see all of this. So I'm gonna drag this but I'm gonna select everything that's relevant. I'm gonna hold shift and press the bottom, boom, drag it over. Let's listen. On song. But what I like to do when the verse hits, let's go to the piano. Now you remember, this is where the chord ends and everything. This is where the melody begins. It's a whole octave up. I'm gonna take that. I'm going to press Control X. I'm going to go to a brand new pattern. I'm going to push Control V and boom. Now we have the melody on a separate pattern. I'm gonna put it in there. That's something I like to do. I like to pull away the top melody and have that playing and then when we get to you know, the middle of the verse, we'll have it come back in and then subtract something like the kick. Part of the piano is out right now. I need you to go cop that. I need you to go check that out. The link is going to be in the description as well, in the comments as well all that so it's mellow midnight mellow actually signing out a zippity zoopity zoop zoop zoop